In this video, we're going to cover activity 510, transferring of the flexible single master operations roles in our environment. Uh, at this point, we now have two domain controllers in our environment. We have server DC1 and server SA1. And so we will want to look to see what it takes to balance those roles back and forth. Uh, here I am, I'm on a server DC1 and I'm going to open up a PowerShell, clear my screen. And the first thing I want to try to do is find where a couple of my roles are. One of the ways to do that is to do the get ad forest command. Uh, get ad forest will return lots of information. Uh, however, here we're also seeing the forest specific FISMO roles. Uh, one of them is the domain naming master, which we can see is currently owned by server DC1. And the other is the schema master down here, which we can see is also owned by server DC1. Well, that gives me the AD forest, I'm sorry, the forest FISMO roles. If I want the domain FISMO roles, I do get AD domain. And this will return lots and lots of information, uh, including... Oh, uh, let's see. I should see the infrastructure master, uh, the RID master, and the PDC emulator. And these are all owned by server DC1. Slightly different way to be able to see this. If I do get dash AD domain controller, and press enter. Uh, here I will see, for instance, uh, this is a server DC1 and under operations masters, operation master roles. Oh, there we are. Operation master roles. I can see all of the roles right there. So again, multiple ways to be able to see the same information. Um, as an example, let's say that I want to move one of these roles, such as the schema master. Uh, right now, again, if I do the get ad forest, uh, we will see that the schema master is on server DC1, but I want to move that to server SA1, my new domain controller. So move ad directory server operations master role dash identity. We are moving this to server say one dash operations master role and i can actually press tab to get the names however the lab has us simply type in the number three for role number three which is the schema master am i certain absolutely i want to move it on over there uh, now that that's done if i do the get ad forest command we will see that the schema master has now moved over to server SA1. Uh, additionally, if I run get dash ad domain controller dash server server SA1, uh, along with all of the other ad domain controller uh, information, I can now see operations master roles. Schema master is on this computer. Um, let's see. Otherwise, let's try to move another role over there, the infrastructure master. Uh, so I'm actually going to up arrow. And we're using the same move AD directory server operations master role. Uh, instead of role number three, we're now talking role number two. And that is the infrastructure role. Yes. And now I can simply, uh, previously we did the get ad forest. Now we can do the get dash ad domain. Uh, however, specifically, I only want to see the master roles I'm interested in. So I'm gonna say format table, give me information in a table format, uh, specifically the PDC emulator, the red master and the infrastructure master. And then we should see three results, PDC emulator, RID master, and infrastructure. Server SA1 is the infrastructure master. 
Lastly, let's go ahead and move these back to server DC1. So move dash AD directory server operation master role dash identity uh, server DC1 dash operation operation master role three. Yes. And though it's not in the lab, I will up arrow and move two back as well. So now all the roles are on server DC one. 